Hello, what's good? What's popping? You can probably see me in the back recording, but I mean, it's okay. It's fine. It's like literally 11 17 at night, and I came home from hanging out with my friends, and I was like, let's do a video. You guys wear it so cool. So I was out with my friends, and I got inspired with the color scheme and just oceans, beach vibes, and you know, just summer vibes. You know what I feel? So, like my new lip. And basically, I'm gonna show you how to create just a looking bomb. Um, sorry that I'm filming with my phone because my camera decided to be more anxiety, so I my only option was to film with my phone. Yeah, I did my hair and I did some, some primer, brows, and concealing my brows real quickly just to get that out of the way so you don't have to, have to worry about keeping them at all. Um, so now we're gonna go straight into. I'm not color correcting. Okay, so again, I always use this as my favorite. It's the NYX color correcting palette. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the red one to help with any dark circles. And then I'm gonna use a green one just for redness. So I feel like I'm talking kind of quietly because it's like almost 12 in the morning, so I don't wanna wake up anyone. So then, definitely we're kind of going here. Again, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora mirror and I'm gonna just really put it. So after doing, you know, everything with my like primer, my brows, concealing my brows, my hair and all that stuff, we're gonna just jump straight into this video without any hesitation and without any regrets because bitch we have a lot here. Um, uh, honestly, I was watching my first ever makeup video, which is the first one I made, and I was like, oh my god, I said, did so much like balance did said did and i and my friends always mock me for saying did because no one really adds th th that strong of a dd that like balance or like you know set like they don't add the do at the end and i always add the do in the end of mine and i feel like i, I, I have to match it you know but you know it's okay my english is not that great and even though i was born here like my english still kind of success um hee hoo hoo my beauty blender by elf and then we are going to you know just pat it in my eyes you know and I'm gonna go over top of my eyes hey yo check check all right next we're gonna go in the same palette and we're gonna just do a little bit around my face because I do get a little bit red so we're gonna dip in the green and just work around my face a little bit and see how we're gonna do with that. Really red cheeks, so we're gonna rub them with me. We're gonna go in and with our concealer and we're gonna conceal our eyes because after color correcting, we need to do our eyes. We need to seal up them eyes. Oh. Seal it with our beauty blender. And next, afterwards, we're gonna go in with the ordinary, the foundation. It's in shade 1.2 P, and it's my shade. So I'm gonna pop it out. I'm gonna just apply it on my face. Please work. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Perfect. The Ordinary, I, this is my first time using it, so like I think it's pretty good. And coverage-wise, I feel like it's doing its job. So I'm going back. And I, I feel like this is a really good foundation because it gives it a really subtle look. It doesn't give it anything too strong and too crazy. And that's what I support. I feel like my Maybelline one is a little bit too overpowering sometimes when I want to wear it because I feel like it's too dark or it's like too cakey on my face. Make sure this is blend oh, correctly. I have a lot of like acne scars so I try to cover as much of it as I can when I'm doing my makeup because it looks very um, dewy but not really that dewy. It's dewy whenever I add on my like um, setting spray and stuff but it's a real dewy. 
Next, after that, I would want to go in and just set my face with the e.l.f. You guys see me using this a lot, it's just the e.l.f. Prime Stay. And I do it my entire face because I want everything to stay in place, you know. Next, I'm gonna go in here because I do have the opposite of tracks by Elf palette, but it has more of like purples and pinks. Orange. I'm gonna probably use probably cheeky and sassy under this palette, which is a two orangey peach color, or maybe even with my inner eyes and stuff. But I got this palette from a friend, and it is the Eyes, Lip, and Face palette by Elf. It's a lot of like colors like these, a lot of blues, a lot of greens. I use some greens in there too to blend with the blues and all this stuff. So I'm gonna use this one for the sunset um, ocean type of like beachy vibes. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna use these two palettes. Start with something dark, and then kind of like do it at the corner, and then go for something really bright next to it, and then afterwards I'm gonna go. It's gonna be kind of like a gradient of like ocean. So it's gonna be like the water, the sky green like the green issue for like maybe like the palm trees orange reds yellows we're gonna we're gonna incorporate all colors of the ocean so for all of those colors i'm gonna pop in my eyes and we're just gonna enjoy it you know what because life is just all about experimenting so this outer corner and we're just gonna just pop it on right there girl and then we're gonna just oh oh my eyes this is my first time using colors like actual colors it's usually all of my looks i usually do like those neutral colors so this is my first time i'm using Something so crazy, you know. We're gonna bring it out. I'm gonna keep a little bit of space between the, the shadow of my eyebrows. So I can highlight my brows later. It's gonna be like the outer shape. Like, yes, hello. This I can imagine like the sky, okay. And then we're gonna go over to the next one, which is the electric blue color. I'm sure. And we're gonna just put it like right beside the sky. And then this is gonna be like the water, you know, it'd be like crystal blue water. But you know, the sky and the water is literally the same color at times and we're gonna pat it in with that and we're gonna kind of have two transitional colors kind of ish so we're gonna have something dark and then kind of something light inside afterwards i feel like we should go for something crazy this really nice blue color so we're gonna start off with all blues okay this is my first time experimenting with colors because i never do don't worry if it looks a little bit not blend we're gonna blend this soon okay so far we got the sky, the water, and the mixture of the sky and water fused together in one look. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go for trees. We're gonna go for something green here. Okay. Two greens on this palette. I have this green here, which I can call it like the palm tree green. And this can be like coconut. Okay, so we're gonna take these two colors and we're just gonna apply it kind of like on towards, you know? For the dark green, I can do it for the bottom, you know, like where that like little like hooded lid is. We can pop that green up there for now. And we'll take the other green, and I might do this green as a maybe at the under eye sister. Okay, we want to get that tropical beach vibe, you know what I mean? So we're, we're, we're just going to create a line, just a nice fine line. So far, this is what we got here. We got the eye. So, so far we got sky, water, infusing in the middle for both of the, the sky and water. And then I got a little bit of the green at the bottom of where the hooded lid is for like maybe the, like, the palm trees and the green at the bottom for maybe like a coconut. Lake. So, so far we got like a corporation of colors going on. After that, I'm going to go in straight with the palette and we're going to do some yellow. So if you think about yes, you think about sands and rocks, so we're going to go for a little bit of like more darker colors. And on top of this, where I left that space of the hood, we're going to blend it in and make like kind of like a sunset red, yellow, orange type of vibe going on. So my entire eye is covered, you know. Or after that, we're going to take some sand colors. So we're going to take some brown, some taupe, some tan colors, and we're, and, and we're going to make some sand, you know. So we're going to take... From this, I'm gonna take a yellow color, really infuse it. So if you see how we infuse it, like it looked pretty dark earlier, and when we infuse it, it looks a little bit more lighter. It sounds very um chalky and kind of rocky, so you can add some like maybe like some shimmer totes in there too. I know we're infusing like ten different colors in here, but don't worry, it's gonna look good. The shade I used earlier was this shade right here, which is like like this yellow one right here. Maybe we'll take like maybe like one of these like shimmer shades to really kind of like do it in the tear duct, kind of going up a little bit. I'm gonna keep it really nice and blend out a little bit. 
and that looks a little bit like sand. You know how like it's infusing from like blues, it goes straight to a sand color. So it goes straight to like neutral colors. It looks very um, sandy. Uh, a blue going to a little bit of a green, going a little bit like a tan sand color. And then at the bottom, we got a little nice green line right there. So that was a very beachy, tropical sand vibe. So the rest of it, I'm gonna go to my other palette, which has this, um, which is the opposite of track palettes. This one right here. We're gonna go in with a dark color. So we're gonna do the same the exact thing. We're gonna kind of do like a gradient. So it's kind of like a two layer type of thingy where we're gonna go from dark to medium to lightest to like kind of like a gradient color to at the top. And we're gonna like take the small brush right here and we're gonna blend it together to make it look very nice. So we're gonna go in with cheeky, which is that red shade that I showed you earlier. And we're gonna, you can also blend it down with the eyeshadow too. Ooh. Okay, so pulling through. I'm gonna go from like a line, so, so it's gonna be like a gradient line going down. So we're gonna pretend that's a sunset for the day. I'm gonna pop right into Sassy. This is Sassy right here. This is gonna be a disaster for me playing with colors. I can't really tell. Uh, sassy, Sassy and Cheeky kind of have a similar tone to it. So we're gonna go straight into Sassy, which is their more medium tone. And it look a little bit effed right now, but we're gonna blend out real quick. But I like this coloration. It's like kind of like crazy, kind of fun, kind of cool. Never really seen it on YouTube before. Um, then we're gonna go happy. Because I'm happy, happy, happy. And it's fine if you put it down towards your eye a little bit. Maybe at the end, maybe for my like, I'm not gonna use eyeliner. I'm gonna just buff out a little like uh, wing with like some shadow and kind of create that as my like rock uh, entire eyelid for this look. So far, it's happy, saucy, sassy, and cheeky going from this way outwards. I'm kind of blend everything together. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and kind of jiggle through the colors a little bit. I think that's just a look for the eye. It's kind of crazy. It's like kind of like a rainbow, but it's like actually a rainbow ocean where we're just incorporating all colors from the beach. I'm gonna do the little bit of the winged out um, little liner because the rocks because you know at the beach we have some rocks i have this palette here also from the opposite attracts and i have a shade called genuine a black shade right here and i'm gonna do that and make a little wing and just kind of buffer it a little bit kind of make a smoky wing a little bit of that on there and just kind of like snap it wing it out uh, so see where you want your wing and kind of just like boom. okay so something like that so far and then you're gonna just kind of move it in a little bit It's like simple and it's there and you can see it when the lashes are on. So yeah, this is the total of the beach eye so far. The beach and ocean, coconuts, everything eye put together right there. So Good job. This is by Alp 2. Last two we have to do is my two faves. This is the Maybelline Lip Gloss. I go with the really dry lips, really fat with dry lips. Look, it looks complete. The lashes are by Kiss. And then the lip piece is by the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Lip. Looks complete, hair looking so okay after filming for like four hours. So lastly, I'm gonna just set my face and we're gonna do some ending photo shoots and I'm gonna call this a night bitch, okay? I'm tired and it's literally 1.07 a.m. in the morning. I still in a shower, I have work the next day. Well, actually I have work literally today because it's already today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just spray my face. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to set my face and then we should be good to go. Is popping. 
My lips are looking amazing. I actually really like this new color. I, I was actually really afraid of wearing lips and lashes because I think it'll make it look a little bit more fucked up. But I think I really, really do truly like this lip color. It's very nice and matches my lips. It's actually kind of like a really, already my natural lip color, but just a little more color added onto it. Because I did a lot on the eyes, I didn't want to work so much and just do my face, right? So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. I'm a like Dolian fan. Ooh. <laughs> I need to fix my lashes again because they're falling apart. As I sprayed it, the setting spray on. This is a disaster. The last part is literally a disaster part of my life right now. <sighs> the lips love the lashes. Are not a fan of. I'm not used to using it, so like it looks really weird. Hey, the color is kind of going away. Like the tackiness of it, like the white color is going away. Yeah, this is the finished look after filming for about four hours. A summer beach vibe look where it's very tropical, very lot of colors going on in your eyes, and it just feels really nice. And um, this is my first time ever trying on lashes and lipstick together. Looks amazing. I, I'm actually pretty proud of myself because it's pretty scary to try like bright colors when you first begin with makeup like I am because I'm a beginner. And you know, basically I'm afraid of like, no trying it, but I gave it a wing. This is like 1 a.m. Kevin, where he just plays around with brown makeup. If you do like this video, uh, please let me know down below. Uh, tell me what you feel about it. Is it too much? Is it too crazy? Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? Give me your honest opinions down below. I will probably get hurt, but it's okay. It's it's all the matters of practicing and you know just keeping your motivation up to film, 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 and film, and practice and practice and practice and practice and making videos is what will teach me because basically I'm my own artist and I'm creating looks on myself. I don't really have anyone to create on because I feel like I'm a scared away with my like really really ghetto ratchet like makeup styles and how the techniques I use is really ghetto so but yeah if you want me to do your makeup hit me up at kevin.mua on instagram follow me on snapchat too at kevinhot21 uh, give a big thumbs up, comment down below of what you think about this video or if you want to see more style videos or if you want to see like anything cool whatsoever. Any makeup styles that you want me to create in this space, comment down below, I might do it. Yeah, share this video to your friends. Um, what else? Subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified. Anyways, I love you guys. So, it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye.